Good evening. 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 Good evening, Steve. It's Friday, April 9th. I'll explain all the Penn State merchandise in just a second, but first I just wanted to apologize to everybody again. I apologize again for making such a short video. Everything was crazy, tests were ridiculous, and all that stuff, but I'm good now, so let's do this. There were three things I wanted to mention about your video last time. One, I could barely handle all the mom wheezes in the last video. It was so funny. Good job. Two, kudos to the rip on me in the beginning. I thought that was really funny. Your video was only like five seconds long, but... I like that. That was nice. And three. What was with the Villanova shirt? Are they paying you? Did you just choose to wear that? Like, it was just the entire time in my face. I couldn't concentrate. So I decided to retaliate wearing my Penn State hat, my Penn State hoodie, and my Penn State pajama pants. It's especially funny because you were supposed to come to Penn State, remember? Back in high school? It's in the yearbook. You should go and check. Calm down. I'm just kidding. It's not like I'm bitter or anything. But it's actually a little bit hot in here, so I'm going to go ahead and take the hoodie off. Much better. It's so warm in here now. Yeah! Hat change! I never really noticed how many hats I have. And now I'm a bit chilly. As an update to my diet, as of this past Monday, I lost 8 pounds. Can you tell? Wow, that was ridiculous. Now onto the more serious topic of the day. PSAs. PSAs, of course, stand for Public Service Announcements. And I really think it's important for America to start implementing these into random popular events, whether it's the Super Bowl or the Grammys or the Oscars or anything. Because while America tries and gets messages across, I don't exactly think it clicks with everybody. But whenever I see these PSAs from England or Ireland or Australia or wherever, they always catch my attention and always happen to blow my mind. And usually these PSAs are about something like smoking or cancer or wearing your seatbelt while driving or driving while texting, all these safety issues. And any of the videos that I'm talking about, I'll make sure to put here on the horizon. You like that name? I'm gonna call it the horizon from now on. It's catchy. But of course, due to censorship, they're not shown in the country. And that's a completely different issue that I'm not even gonna go into right now. But I think if they were to use the PSAs as an operational tool, they would be able to meet their strategic goal of preserving human life. And how does it serve as an operational goal, you say? One of the reasons why the PSAs work is because it shows the people the reality of situations. It scares them. Man, nothing scares me. I'm bosses. Scare tactics work on about 99% of people. Let's see, how are scare tactics implemented before? Every single presidential election? Swine flu? Advocating war? Yeah, so don't tell me scare tactics don't work. I ran out of hats. But yeah, all in all, I think it would be a great idea to implement them. America, get on that. And Steve, I'll see you on Monday.